What's up, everybody? Manchester United career mode. We are back for part two of December as we approach the January transfer window 2019. And we have uh, two big games here. Valencia, this is our opportunity to not only secure our spot in the Champions League, but if we have somehow have a chance of finishing uh, top, uh, if BCS, BSC Young Boys draw or beat Juventus, which I don't think it's going to happen. So we're essentially fighting for second here with Valencia. Then we have a game against Liverpool, big rival in the league. And then we'll pick one of these three games to play, and that's all we're doing in this episode as we finally get to the part two of, um, of December. So let's just jump right into it. We have a big, big, big matchup here. Probably the matchup of the episode, so I'm really glad we're getting it started with this one. So, the team is a little bit gassed here, and we do have to play Liverpool in the coming days. Valencia is not that big of an opponent. So, I am inclined to maybe, perhaps, put the rotated team that we used in the, um, in the Carabao Cup game out there. But, I also don't want to risk losing... Um, Losing the game because we didn't put the right players out there. So what I'm going to do is essentially, I'm going to roll. Actually, I changed my mind about this one. I'm going to put Victor Lindelof to start the game here with Drew Jones on the bench. Depay, Lingard, Pereira, Sassignon, Jones, Alexander Arnold. I'm going to roll with this lineup. I know it's going to be tired. I know we're going to be gassed for the Liverpool game. We'll have to rotate forward, see who's available, see who's healthy. But I think that's the best course of action. We need to be be able to have this game put away because the last episode we were putting games away we were scoring early getting it on the ball so I want to be able to keep that intensity up so unfortunately we're gonna have really tired players for the Liverpool game we might be giving up the Liverpool game by doing this but Champions League is so important because we're on the cusp of not getting into it and I don't want to have you guys watch me play Europa League games because that's just gonna be boring so well not boring it's just it's not what I want I want to I want to play Champions League football so Got to put the starters out there. Remember, just a point or a win. Uh, a point, a draw or a win gets us in. So um, that's all I'm worried about. It's just honestly putting this team away, not worrying about getting a draw. I want to put this game, put this team away. So that's my goal. Automatically, we have Lukaku. Yes, Lukaku! Three minutes in, we score. That's what I'm talking about. Put this team down. Put them down. Get them out the way. Oh, that's just the monkey off the bat. We're really doing well as a team right now. Our form is phenomenal right now. We, we're playing like we're the best team in Europe. Three minutes in, we scored. And like Valencia just had no chance. Ooh, wow, what a save from De Gea. They tried to come right back at it. On backside. Oh, nice head away from Pogba. There we go, Lukaku. Down to Sanchez. I see Martial. I see Lukaku if he can get a hold of it. There we go. Oh, no, I should have crossed it towards Lukaku. He could have gotten another goal. I tried to see if I could parry it in with Rashford there. I love how, how much uh, pressure we're putting on him. No, like, automatically we have them on the back foot. They are coming at us a little bit here. Oh, 
Nice save from De Gea. Gonna try so I can fit this out to Martial. Then he gets the Pogba. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Rashford. Goal. Lukaku. Man, we're just going to put this game away. This is how I want my team to play, man. It took us a while to get it started, but now we're right in form. Yeah, we're, we're taking care of business here. Let's just hope BCS Young Boys can do their part and try to draw or beat Juventus in some way. Try to grab a point off of them, and that gives us an opportunity to go ahead and win the group. Get an easy opponent for the round of 16 to start out with, and that way we don't have to worry too much about that fixture. It allows us to focus on the Premier League, focus on the FA Cup, you know, get those competitions out of the way, because we got to worry about those coming up. Now that we're in a position to win the Premier League, because we've put ourselves on top, or hopefully we'll stay on top at the end of this month, now we have to worry about getting the Champions League done. That's going to be the toughest competition, definitely. The Premier League opposition will not be that hard, in my opinion. I think we'll be just fine. I think we'll be fine with that. I think, I think we'll manage to stay on top. Again, Sergei Milenkovic, Savage, and Lukaku, Pogba, Martial in that area. Coming after it here. Nice kick away. Oh, nice. Whew. Nice punch. Can get a control of it. Yes, he can. Nope. There we go. We got control of it and we're away. Try to get me there, but I'm still with Martial. Andrea Zola. Some room. Sir Kim Lakovich. Savage. Oh, Lukaku. And it's a hat trick in the first half. Look at that, man. This dude is on it right now. Yeah, Valencia never stood a chance. Valencia never stood a chance. They really never did. The form is too good. The team is too good. It's playing the way it needs to play. Oh, absolutely brilliant. Nice. Third game, look at Savage off the post. Oh, wow, I thought he was going to get a fourth there. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't get just a little... Oh my gosh, look at that. Have time to draw with Young. Oh my goodness, Young Boys, please draw that game. It's 1-1. One, one. Oh my goodness. If Young Boys could keep that result, we 
go on top. And that would be the most clutch thing ever. It would literally speak to the form we've been on. Oh, terrible. I don't know why Lukaku lost speed there. I guess he just couldn't power it through. And it's just a problem with the... With the, with the with the position and the the posi the, the form he was the, just the, the way he was angled. Here we go. I'll try to get him a fourth here. There we go, Martial gets that. Try to see if we can just get it through that little hole gap that was going up there. Oof. Coming at me there, get to play it in here. Pogba. Deflected and ran into his hands. Oh wow, Rashford! I don't know what happened to him there. There you go, Rashford. Got a little bit of traffic ahead of him there. And oh, well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. He's given it away, and the defender finding a solution to the problem. Trying to get it over. I'm trying to make sure they don't concede here. They're getting their substitutions in. I'm going to get mine going too. Obviously, the fullbacks are where we'll start. Sesson Young's off. Alexander Arnold is on. I guess when it comes to the final substitution, I'm not really worried about losing our lead. So I'll go ahead and try Memphis Depay again on the right. Because um, he just works so well over there. Let's try something just. Put him there. And we'll finish up the game. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, he's... We can get a goal here. I guess... I don't know where the foul was. There we go. I see, I see Defy. Oh, he missed the freaking 
missed the shot. I'll go towards his foot there, but Depay put in a nice ball to try and get him there. Oh, Jesus, that was terrible. Oh, he really should, he should have passed it. Another foul over there. And De Gea makes a great save. Ooh. Nice deflection there. One last attack. Goal. Four for Lukaku. Look at that. Worked it in. What a what a performance. Four for Lukaku. And we are definitely on. Let's see if we won the group. So we finished second. Unfortunately, I think Juventus got there, got the result they needed. I'd say they said second, so we're through. We just don't have the um, top spot. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on a second. We won. We should have won the group because they still drew. It's full time. No, we, we totally won the game. And Juventus were only one point. We're two points behind us, and they drew. So why aren't we top of the group? Hold on. Maybe it's goal difference. Yeah, it's goal. Oh, it's goals for us. Goals allowed. Yeah, the goal difference. Uh, that's That sucks, man. I thought we would have had enough. Four nothing. We literally we just didn't have enough. We scored so many goals, we just didn't have enough. Well, that's okay. We can handle it. Whatever happens, happens. We'll worry about it when it comes. We did a great job. We're in the Champions League uh, round of 16. That's awesome. So now we got to focus on this game, Liverpool. So. The team is definitely in no condition to play, I think, full strength. And, though, and Liverpool are far down the table right now. So I am inclined to honestly play a weakened side. Maybe Lukaku will play because he's still got a little bit of stamina left in him. Um, but as for the rest of them, I mean, i got to make some substitutions. But definitely, Alison Arnold, them. Um, I would say definitely Darmi would come in as a backup. Lindelof's way too tired to play this game, so I'm actually I'm gonna go with Matic here and Jones. Um and then I guess in this I guess in this situation, Martial's really tired. Memphis Depay can play over there. Lingar can play in the middle. And then Fred and Herrera in the midfield. And as for Rashford, I think just, uh, I think again we'll go with uh, Christian Pulisic. And then Lukaku has a little bit of stamina left in him, man. I think he should play. I think that's something we definitely will need.
is a man who could score goals up front. Um, in reserve, Herrera will definitely come on. Kai Averts will come off the bench. Santamina, that striker, I think will be important. And um, I'd say Danny Williams would be a good option to have available. I think that is what we're going to roll with for for this game. I think this is the line I'm going to go with. It keeps our main goal scorer, Lukaku, up front. He's got a little bit of stamina left in him, so Santamina will probably see the field if we don't see Lukaku's stamina drop too far, then we'll keep Lukaku on the pitch. But uh, hopefully Liverpool won't be too difficult of an opponent. They're very far down the Premier League table this year, so hopefully we can get some results. We are at Anfield for this game, so. All right, so we got a very rotated side. We really need to do well here. Got to watch Lukaku stamina out. Let's get as many goals as we can with him. Let's get as many goals as we can with the others. Let's let's get a win here. Oh, God, it's a foul. They got some good players out there, too. So Liverpool are going with a really good strength team. So it makes me wonder why they're not doing well this year. I think that transfer, I think Jordan Henderson leaving. I don't think Jordan Henderson plays for this team anymore. So maybe losing a leader like that has made them less clinical. Because, I mean, he is a really good player in FIFA. There we go. Oh, corner. Literally, that came in so late. I think that was Herrera that came in like that, yeah. Ah, what the hell? I don't know what happened there. Mane, it's, oh my gosh. Nice, good intercession to stop that. This Liverpool team is quick, man. The speed. The speed that this team plays is crazy. We need to play faster. I literally, oh God, they ripped me right open.
Uh, they're so fast, man. How this team is so far down, I have no idea. That away. Oh my god, I went against the netting there. There we go, Memphis Devine needs to get on his bike here. Now pace. No, I don't want to go there. Herrera. Goal. Let's go. We saved it there. I messed it up, but I saved it. Under Herrera with the goal. One of my favorite Man United players. I love him when he plays, man. In real life, he's great. Great to see him here get a goal. Really was big here. Nice here, Fred. Just sets him up on a nice... Fred sets up some really nice goals and has scored one of himself, so... Yeah, under Herrera getting his start in the in the game here. Last start I think major start he had was in the uh in the Carabao Cup, so good to see him start a Premier League game and pick up right where we left off. The form here is good and we score right back. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I try to get a foot to, to that so I can get Lukaku to finish the pie, but I see something here from Linger, and I can't get it through. I see Fred, and literally that pass was no good. Oh, no, we're going to get out pace here. Oh, oh, now you have to stay with him. Yeah, stay with him. Oh, wow. Alexander Arnold playing his former team too. Just realized that Alexander Arnold was the former starting right back at Liverpool. Now he's the he's the backup. Backup to us now, but still a, almost a starter because he almost plays every he plays every game I play honestly because I need him because my fullbacks get so tired in this formation. I, I need him, and he is a great player. Young, gonna get a lot better over the over the seasons go on too. Joe Gomez is playing right back now for uh, Liverpool. I don't think that's been going very well. Their record is so shocking. There we go. He's really tired. Oh, my God. He was so tired. And I still need to go for He's still got a little bit of stamina left. Him. God, he's gassed already. Can't get, can't get any feet about him. I was saying Arnold was literally just gassed. And oh, that pass was not good. Well, 1-1 one, one uh, at halftime. Whew, well... Contentious, I would say. All right. Second half. Everyone looks good, man. We're not playing bad. It's just, you know, it's, it's a difficult fixture here. It's difficult. It honestly makes that Valencia game almost a, almost a cakewalk. Is, Oh, try to see if I could get Lingard in there, but I couldn't work anything out. Uh, 
Red. Pukaku. Ooh, I literally, like, I kept smashing B. Literally with Lukaku and Lingard, and I couldn't get anything done. Memphis Depay going all the way back to... Oh, that was a terrible pass. Oh, no. Bad turnover. Offside. Force the offside. Sandro. What's he doing there? There we go. Lingard. Lingard gets taken right the hell out. There we go. I haven't seen much of Pulisic. Yes, Fred. Stay on it. Yes, Lukaku! Yes! That's why I have him in the game. That's why I have him in the game. I need him for that type of goal. Oh, man. Great on Fred here. I don't know if that was Fred or Sessignon that kept that going, but I think it was Sessignon that kept that going. But man, like, he fought through it and we got that goal out of that. Parried it right up into the top netting. 12 goals in the Premier League for him. And now we are up 2 1. Gotta try and make it three. Won't be easy, but we can do it. We prove them like when we get out like in the open and we can move the ball around a bit and get a pass and we can get goals. Especially when this guy's on it. Here it is. Here it is. Oh my gosh, I don't know what the cock I don't know Lingard rather was going for. Like it's a space. Oh, he's taken out. And it's going to go down as just a whatever. I don't know why it's not a foul, but basically because he was getting rid of the ball as he was shooting it. It was going towards the ball. Just Oh, my gosh. Can't slow him down. Ooh, that's not a penalty. Thank you. Here it is. Got to go down link. Oh, oh. I don't know where that's going, man. This ball's traveling everywhere. Corner. You gotta make substitutions, definitely. Lukaku is still up there. So he'll finish the game. Sessigno and Nazan are there. He tires of Darmian and Delo will come on. And then one last move we'll make. I think everyone in the outfield's great, so I'm gonna make a defensive move here. I'm gonna bring on Pereira. Drop under Herrera into defensive as a uh, center back. And this is why I really need to bring in more center backs. Um, center backs into the team because I don't have small and I don't have um, I don't have Bai. It'll be good when I get them back. Done great without them though. We've done great without them. We've worked it out. We've done really good with the center backs that we've had. Just fighting for this third goal here. Oof. Pereira went forward there. Match has been taken up, but it's not been working. Let's go with the pie here. The pie. The low? Oh, I was going to say the low was targeted there. Bye. Kicked away. Not 
Can't keep up with him. Got to bring a full bite towards him. Yes. I see Lingard. If he can get the pace on, I got him. Goal. Lukaku. Let's go. Got it done. Got it done. Face the adversity. Got it done. Oh, got it done. All right, we're going right into ultra defensive. I don't want to let Liverpool in with a second. Damn sure don't want to let him have a third. So let's just go ultra defensive. Let's just stay, stay out of that because they are a little bit. They can be. They can be very persuasive here. Pulisic was fighting there. Get the referee on our side there. Pie. Love would love to would love to score Memphis to pie at some point. It's just been a little difficult. That ball travel somewhere into the center for him. Nice kick away right there. There we go. Kept it cleared. And there we go. 3 1 United victory. Whew, two biggest games of the season. One first one was a little was very easy for a second one. They came at us with a little bit of heat. We came right back at them. Finished the game well. Keep our spot on top of the table. Good stuff, man. Whew. So I see how everyone's here. Stats are really good. So now I really have to change them now. So I want to go ahead and try this passing. Definitely get work done here. He's got this guy's got great speed. Let's, I'd love to get Pereira working on honestly his defending if we can. The low his tackling, you know, his defensively could work. He definitely is working defensive. This guy's great on in speed wise. Let's see if he's working on his passing really. Right now, uh, Chelsea still have a game in hand, and we'll see how they win that. See if they say two points behind us, or they drop a game or whatever. S risk of losing six players, we'll have to look at contracts. So I want to stop and do that for a moment. Oh, wow, we're going to lose a lot of players. We really need to hope we have enough in the budget. Let's see what we have in the budget to work with here. So I got 5.96 transfer budget, so I think it should translate into enough money to be able to offer increases, decreases. Hopefully nothing will go wrong there. We'll definitely start with our most important player, and that's David De Gea. Get his contract negotiated. Hopefully we won't trap us up too much. Everyone here should be okay with what they're being paid right now, so I doubt we see much of an increase. Obviously, De Gea is going to be our goalkeeper for the probably majority of this career. Mode. He wants a three-year deal. Um, try to keep him as long as we can, so four years, preferably. And I guess I'll just try to offer him just like a, a slight increase. Wants a 270 with all this other shit. 
We're going to remove all of that. 270, let's go with 280. 310 with a little bit of a signing bonus. Again, I want to get rid of the signing bonus. Try to just pay a little bit higher. It's 320. 300, and then I'm going to see if we can do 330. Just because I don't have a lot of transfer budget. <laughs> I forgot. I really didn't think about this at all. So this is kind of hitting me in like a, uh-oh. Uh-oh. 330,000. Okay, good. So that's worked out. Okay, so of the six monthers that are next, Anthony Martial is definitely the next most important because he can get to sign on a free contract. So definitely work on his contract. Definitely work on his contract next. here so he's definitely a crucial player for me and I don't mind playing him as such um, five-year deal for sure no release clause he wants some stuff took a bit of a pay cut there so I'm gonna try and see if we can just work with that try to keep it a, just under what he's worth right now 170 currently so he wants a little bit of a signing bonus again I'm gonna try and avoid that 180. Yep, I'll take the 180. Good. Okay, so that's done. Um, so the next player I want to look at. Herrera I could afford to let go because I'm definitely looking to probably sell him next season to bring in a younger defensive midfielder to replace him. Andres Pereira is another player because he can get signed on a pre-contract. I'm looking to probably look to him. And then Smalling would definitely be a player. I'd probably want to try and lock up. Phil Jones I might want to lock up as well. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's lock up Pereira next. He's a young potential player that can grow. Let's lock him up. Him, I'm definitely going to try and offer as weak a role as possible. Rotation, I'm fine with that. That's a four-year deal. Let's see if we can get him on a five-year so we can keep him long-term. And he wants a bit of a bit of a cut, but he wants all this other stuff, so we have to change that around. I'll start off with a... 110. I'll try to keep it above what he's making right now. And he'll take it. Okay, cool. So he's got the increase. Now he's good there. Um, I guess next. Um, Phil Jones, I think it's the next one I'm going to try and lock in. All right, so he's making 125 right now. I'm going to offer him 135. See if he'll take that and be cool with that. And he is. So we'll let that go, and then that's done. Uh, next, so we have Darmian, Herrera, and Smalling, who are all honestly people I'm willing to let go of. If we don't, if we lose one pre-contracts, if we can keep them, I will try. I will then sign them. But if they all leave on pre-contracts, they're just reasons for me to replace because of age. I don't have to worry about it. It doesn't matter to me. Even, even if we want to sell them, I can do that next season, regardless of what happens. So I'll leave them alone only because I'm running out of of, of money here, and I want to try and make a couple of pre-contract signings, maybe to replace them if possible. Um, so. Out of the youth, I, I, I'm also kind of inclined to let the youth kind of also run out too and just see where it's at at the end of the season if we make any sales or whatnot. So I'm going to leave it at that for now. Um, it leaves us with 166 in wage budget because I'm really looking at Adrian Rabio as a pre-contract signing. 
that we could bring into the club. Uh, probably to replace Nemanja Matic or something like that. Aaron Ramsey would be a nice little pre-contract signing to bring in. Koke would be an amazing one to bring in. Um, he 26 years of age, 85 rated, could play left mid, center mid, and right mid. Would be a great player to bring off the bench, or even start for that matter. It, he'd just be a solid player to have. Victor Ruiz is a little bit over the hill, but you know he has a nice little overall. So these three players mostly are what I'm looking at right now. So we'll see about that. Now that a uh, player returning from injury, I wonder if that's Smalling. Probably wouldn't be ready to play any of these uh, any of these games. It is Chris Smalling, but I definitely won't be playing him anytime soon. Um, so let's take, actually take a look at the standings. So we have Cardiff, Bournemouth, and I think uh, who was the other team? Cardiff, Bournemouth, and. Huddersfield. Okay, so we have to decide between those three based on who has the best record. So, as I look, Bournemouth are the first team that comes up in eighth. And Cardiff and Huddersfield are both in relegation. So, it looks like Bournemouth's the winner of who will play next. So, we're going to sim this game. Two one victory. Sanchez got hurt, though. Oh, boy. how bad the injury was he's out for two weeks we won't have Sanchez for the Bournemouth game we're gonna play but it's all good we'll work it out still on top we're now five points clear of Chelsea and it's definitely going to be an interesting scenario here of Trying to work out um, stamina and strength and who's going to play who isn't. So we'll see how that goes. 3 0 victory for United. Still five points clear. Now uh, Manchester City have jumped into second. And here's Bournemouth. So got a few tired legs out there. But it looks like everyone essentially is fit and ready to go. So we'll see what we can do here. Like Lingard's gonna get the start at center attacking mid. That sounds good to me. Let's bring on. Really need a winger out there. So Pulisic could be the first that I'm thinking of. Defensively, we have Smalling, but he still hurts. So I'm gonna put in Nemanja Matic obviously to start at center back. Um, I'll call upon. Um, I'll call upon. Hmm. Call upon Fred. Fred and just have him on the bench ready to go. Um, Smalling is still pretty hurt, so I'm going to have Phil Jones in reserve for this game. I think that's how I'm going to line it up for this one. I've noticed that Cessna Young is at 76, and at the low, honestly, is at 77, and might just be getting his shot. But I want to keep Sessing Young out there just because I want to work on his development and let him play. He's obviously been great for me, so I don't want to let him go. So, only reason there. And the only other positions to worry about are just um, these guys here who have a little bit of spots open in their stamina. But they should be fine. So, this will be the last game we play for the episode. And then we will begin next episode in the January transfer window, hopefully making some sales, bringing in some players, selling on some players. And, uh, you know, this next half of the season will be great. We can really work on, you know, seeing if we keep the pre-contracts or not, which I, I would hope we would do, but I, I honestly don't think we're going to need them if we're going to be replacing them with pre-contracts next year. So um, I could try putting them on the transfer list, trying to see if I could just profit them out, bring in some youth players to fill in their spots for now, loan them, them out next season when the new uh, better players come in. So we'll have to see. Old Trafford, the end of the episode. It's raining out. Bournemouth are our new victims. Five points clear of City. 
and Chelsea. Uh, a, a, uh, 80 points clear of Arsenal, 11 points clear of Spurs. Ooh, try to go with that Pogba move again. Get that quick shot off and Nice from uh, Ling, um, Martial to get near him and track back there a little bit. He's a little aggressive there. Got it. Talk about there. I see Martial and I want I got to the cockpit instead. Now it's back in Martial. And like if it's savage for a goal. That shot power is amazing off of him. Here's how it works out. So the cock comes down, Martial to fuck blood, a little lead ball, and they just power with that right foot. Make a pitch savage now with the goal. Ooh. Lingard, stay with it, son. There's Pogba. It gets cut away. Odriozola has it. To Pogba. Oh, my goodness. If he scored that, that would have been amazing. Nice move from Matic. I see Lingard here. Lingard cuts up. Gets knocked in down the box. Couldn't get the ball out to where I wanted it so I can get a pass out. And this comes up with a nice playing up. Shaw. I got pushed off there. Ooh. Oh, he could have got to that sooner. Form is so calm when they move that ball around. It just makes you wonder when that goal's going to come. Lingard. Ooh. It's in it for Rashford who keeps it. Down to Puck. Ah, oh, no. No good. Oh, wow. It's their ball. Here they are, the Manchester United fans hoping that this 
is a prelude for better things. They have got the lead. They have been at their very best. This will propel them forward to nothing is here. Audrey Ascola. Got that out of there. Bonta. Oh, Jesus. Worked that out pretty good. Sergey. Oh, got blocked again. That'll be half time. Whew. So Bournemouth giving me a not the not the biggest lead I want, but still one nil. Hold on to that right now. Want to try and get a second. Oof, that's a foul. No, 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 couldn't hold on to it. Nice deflection. No. Oh, he scored it. All right, they came at me on that one. Savage to Rashford Shaw trying to see where the where the gap will open up here. I think it was Savage. No, no gap, no gap. I save. Signed a new contract to that guy. He's been great for me this season. There we go, Martial. Cut back. Cross it in. Oh, it gets a, got a boot to it. It went right to a freaking Bournemouth player. Of course it did. Oh, we have that. Ooh. Oh, ran him down there. Punk by, let try to get a shot off. And throw in. Oh, Lingard just got a header. Oh, my gosh. That was beautiful. That was just slick, man. That was just so slick. Look at this. Throws in Audrey Zola. Does a little, like, little loft through ball. Marcia just throws a, a dart. And Lingard's header is phenomenal. That is a good-ass goal. Carried away. That's hitch. So it looks like we have just around the time that we need to make the substitution. So let's go ahead and sub off our fullbacks. And uh, again, I keep going to Rashford and I keep going to Depay at the right wing. And I'm going to play him there. Still to play. 
There we go. Blessing on Alex Martial. Plays it in. Oh, Sasson Young was literally having some space made for him there. I was hoping I could get him on a goal there. I literally saw him moving into space in the middle. I was like, oh my gosh, Sasson Young wants a goal. Goes well over. Ooh. I don't want to go ultra defense because I don't want to sit too far back. I want to try and get that second still. Oh no. All right, let's be calm. Let's be calm. We still get a win here. We can get a late one. Just got to play our game. Got to be aggressive, though. Nice little deflection. Corner. Well over the header, and now that's going to be a goal kick. So now it's on United. It's on us here. Let's see if we can build a. Oh, that was terrible. The Megan Matthews, please do not let us lose this game. No, Pogba. Oh my god, they hit the freaking post. Like, what the hell? The Mania match just literally made the dumbest pass of the game. Alright, Pogba. Pogba. It's going to be a corner to see if we can win it here. It's like a corner to win it. Martial's taking the kick. Martial. Into the middle. Ah, oh, no. It's going to be a draw. Damn it, I didn't play it right. Oh, well. 2-2 Two -two draw. Whew, man. Man, I think what Bournemouth came at us right there. They came right at us. That's why I played them. I didn't want to lose to them. Home games normally end up going your way, but still. You never want to lose a game like that. Especially in the sim one. So you want to play it, make sure you get the right result. Getting some stats go up. Alex Hunter is starting to get up there. Getting close to Danny Williams' stats now, too. That's cool. We'll get to see them hopefully play together soon. So now we have approached the January transfer window. At this point, we're on top of the table by three points. Whew. It's got nine notifications. Got monthly scouting updates. A lot of guys want to go on loan. All right, so let's take a look at the monthly scouting updates to start with. Don't think anyone here looks good at all. So again, we're still looking at this Dave Stewart guy. Um. Let's take a look at, this guy's got two months left in this deal, he's got 300, so he's looking like he's starting to come into his own. This guy here looks 210, 275 for this one. Ooh, wow, I shouldn't have got him, he was 600. 
Oops. Don't know how, but he was 600. Um, 575, 130. Just don't see anything here. No studs, man. Definitely no studs. Well, that's all we got for them. And we are at the point of the season where we can now make pre-contract signings. So we'll definitely be taking a look at these guys over here. And hopefully we'll be looking at um, bringing in some big names into the team. To hopefully replace the ones we uh, will probably get rid of. I mean, you got guys like Nematic that will soon be departing. I see him getting out of the team soon. Smalling will be sold unless we let him go on regular. Um, Darmian will probably be on his way out. We'll have to bring in a new fullback to help us out. So we'll definitely see some movement out of the club uh, coming into uh, the next uh, into the next few months. We're going to see some people leaving on transfers and whatnot. Looking at the growth, um, got Martial at 85 now. I'm going to at 84. So as we see some everybody's growing here, so that's good to see. Guys in the reserves are growing, so that's good to see. So that's it for me, guys. That is the episode. I will check with you guys later.